What is up, YouTube? It's good to see. Oh, <laughs> door is open. Anyway, let's get into the intro. All right guys, what's up YouTube? So I'm here somewhere, I drove behind a building and I found this quiet place. I'm actually by the freeway right now, so I'm not sure if you can hear the freeway. But what I wanna do today for this very rare video, I never upload videos on the weekends. Um, I'm not sure when this will be uploaded, but since I have literally just 15 minutes, I figured for the short amount of time, I went on Instagram and I posted this. And on Instagram, I told people to ask questions and any questions they ask up till 1.30 p.m., I'll make sure to answer them. So I'm gonna try to answer as many questions as I possibly can within 10 or so minutes um, and if you haven't yet you gotta make sure to check out my Instagram and you can be in the next Q&A which I'll now which I plan on doing weekly now which is exciting and if you have questions that you need answers to right away make sure you check out my discord I'll put a link in the description below I'm on there all day so you can hit me up there too so let's go ahead let's get into the questions wow there are a lot of questions guys Dang. Question number one. Question number one is from Salvador BLTN. I know you guys can hear those sirens. Sorry about that, man. I am in a not so safe area too. So the question from Salvador. All right, guys, come on, police. I think it's gonna be stuck like this for a while. Passing by. All right, let's do this. Okay. What about backend lang languages and frameworks? Do you use any or full time front end developer? Now, technically, they hired me to become a full stack developer, um, and so I was doing a lot of front end first, and I was about to actually transition to learn back end languages like PHP 5. We don't use any frameworks like Laravel, um, but we actually stopped because then we decided that we're actually gonna now transition from jQuery to Vue.js, which is pretty exciting, which is what I'm working on right now. So, yeah, we're doing Vue.js on my company. So, as of right now, I am a full out front-end developer at my company and I don't mind being a front-end developer although I do really want to learn back-end as well like Node.js I do want to learn PHP but my biggest struggle to overcome is working with the command line which I'm fairly comfortable with now back-end languages frameworks are cool but it's not something I've really had to work with so wrong person to ask man but I do know what's popular <laughs> anyway okay next question it's from ha uh, it's from S Y-U-K-U-R-91, and he asked, have you tried Golang? No, I don't plan on doing Golang either. Well, maybe in the future if it's necessary, but if I was gonna learn anything in regards to mobile development, it would be React Native, and so no, I haven't tried that. Yeah, next question from, we got Otto Linden. He asked, what should I code? Anything. Next question from ASVPBT, he asked, what advice would you give someone that is feeling overwhelmed with JavaScript? Very good question. Someone who's, and you have to understand, I felt this too, and actually you're not alone. A lot of people that learn JavaScript because it's their first programming language, a lot of people who go into code then when they're self-taught, not many people go straight to back-end development. Majority of the people actually go into front-end development, which makes it that much more competitive. What advice would you give someone feeling overwhelmed with JavaScript? Take it slowly. I think one of the reasons we get discouraged or burned out is because we expect to learn everything so quickly. Like HTML is easy to learn. CSS could be easy to learn, right? And you go to JavaScript, you finally overcome CSS. CSS is so difficult. And you finally overcome that and then you go to JavaScript. JavaScript is like 10 million times more difficult than CSS. And so sometimes what often happens is that you feel overwhelmed because you expect to understand it right away. So what I do is I literally Learn, let's say if you learn functions, then make 20, 30 functions, right? If you learn how to make loops, do 20, 30 loops that do 20, 30 different things, right? If you learn how to use variables and store variables or learn arrays, make 30 different things that use arrays. You don't have to learn all of it at once, but you have to learn to use that one thing well and then move on. And I think generally, which is what I'm doing now, is that's how the best way to learn because when I'm learning something from Vue.js, I apply it to what I'm doing at work, like literally, and that makes learning Vue.js so much easier for me because what I'm learning, I'm applying it and I'm using it for something that people might use. But right? I'm also using it for my own new portfolio I'm making, right? So yes, it's okay to feel overwhelmed, but you have to make sure you're studying it the right way too. Don't expect yourself to learn so quickly and it's okay if it's hard. It takes time, man. All right, next. From Chronicle Beats, probably an obvious one, but oh well, how do I get good at CSCS? Now, now I know it. Oh, I think he means CSS. Uh, how do you get good at it now that you're fairly comfortable? Um, yeah, it's pretty obvious you build things. But you build things that you don't feel comfortable building. Yeah, so you need to be able to build things that you don't feel comfortable with. Make a nav bar, a drop down, that drops down based on the hover, that changes color, that changes sizes when you hover. You know, do something where, you know, on any, on certain widths, right, on, on certain uh, mobile, like the, the size of the browser on an iPhone 7, what will your mobile thing do? Well, maybe put the nav bar on the top and let's say it goes to an iPhone 5, I don't know, a very small phone. Maybe you want your nav bar to float to the bottom, something like that where you could challenge yourself, position, learn to position things, learn how to use Z index, 
Rx, learn how to CSS is one thing to challenge yourself with, which is what many companies require, is how to make your, your website look good in all browsers, from Internet Explorer, even though no one should use it anymore, but people do, to Edge, to Chrome, to Safari, to, to Firefox, to whatever is out there now, right? Learning that is an important skill, but how do you do that? You do that through CSS. From Carl UCCI, the great. Did you have any products to show during your first interview to get hired as a developer? The only thing I showed my boss, my the CEO of my company, was a portfolio I made. Just a very, very basic website in Bootstrap. Bootstrap's very easy to work with. He liked it. He, he loved it. And that's pretty much it and then he hired me on the spot so I got very lucky I didn't have to make the insane projects that you guys had made I didn't have to learn angular or anything I just had to know HTML CSS and a little bit of JavaScript and I got my job but nowadays the level is much higher than it was two years ago when I got hired okay next question is from will Johnson 85 he's asking what are some books you recommend there's a good JavaScript book you don't know JavaScript that's what I do recommend other than that I don't ever use books to study code I've always used treehouse I've always used I used some some few demo for Vue.js uh, but if it was treehouse Udacity was a, one of the first websites I used to learn code I've never learned using books and I don't really like using books unless I necessarily have to maybe when I go into really advanced coding or algorithms or something in back and I have to use a book but up to now I've never had to use it and I don't plan on using books uh, MD71 should I study jQuery or put my effort in a different library Skip jQuery, skip it. jQuery is so easy to use. Skip jQuery. If you are comfortable with JavaScript, move on to React or Angular. Or if you want, learn Vue.js. But again, if for me, I could learn Vue.js and React on the side because I'm in the industry. If you're trying to get in the industry, you want to get hired, you need to learn React or Angular. Aria Serrara is asking, what is your hobby? My hobby is I like to make videos. I like to just study code and exercise and spend time with my family. And more than anything, I like to do Bible study a lot. I love studying the Bible. I love teaching the Bible. And just spending time with my family and friends. That's my hobby. Voon9128, do you know everything about JS? Heck no. And I thought I knew quite a bit and I took an assessment test and I realized how much more I need to learn, man. You never know enough code. The moment you do that, you'll become stagnant and you will fall behind. You have to continuously learn, and if you think you know everything, learn more things than things you don't know and push yourself and keep pushing yourself or move on to another language or framework, right? Or library. Tim Wong 17 what do you do if you can't get a job out of college? You have to hustle. I mean, you know enough code, but you have to learn code languages that are more popular maybe, I'm assuming, depending on the school you went to as well. You have to make more projects. You have to hustle and really do everything you can to make as many projects that are even more intricate, especially if you have a degree. You have to make things that are even harder than people who don't have a degree. So make your own com online communication system, a, a chat communication application that you can make on your own website where people could communicate with you. You send something to email, and when you send an email to an app, that app pushes through the chat system inside that chat system within your browser this is what we do at my company um, something intricate like that and you just have to keep applying and you have to understand even when you graduate you won't get hired right away my cousin got a CS degree and he's asking me with no degree how to get a job which is kind of crazy to me but the reason is because he didn't put the hard effort to learn code outside of school he didn't put a hard effort put all those projects and yeah it sucks man but that's why you gotta work hard crazy SZCZP is asking this question how long did you fight with gaming addiction and other useless stuff Growing up, I was a hardcore gamer, and the reason I was a hardcore gamer, my parents were never home. Um, my dad worked three jobs. I only saw my dad on the weekends, and we went on the weekends, we'd go fishing and stuff, but I, I did not grow up in a safe area. I grew up, I didn't even know it was a ghetto until I moved out and came back. It was kind of crazy. Um, I didn't know my neighborhood was dangerous because I was never out. I was a gamer at home, so I grew up gaming. Um, my brother was always out with his friends, so I was really the only one taking care of myself while I grew up until I moved with my mom because my parents had divorced, until I moved with my mom uh, in Vegas where I used to live and you know graduated there. But in regards to changing my life, I, I stopped gaming mainly because I couldn't afford it anymore when I moved out or I got kicked out of my house actually. I wasn't always a good kid, guys. I wasn't always the best kind of student either, right? Actually recently, uh, after being a developer for a year and a half, and for three months, I was addicted to gaming, man. I was hardcore. My Discord channel, check it out in the link in the description below, but I'll talk about Counter-Strike Go all the time. I'll talk about just games in general, and I got back into it. Um, I would stay up till two or three in the morning when I shouldn't have, when I had work at nine in the morning. That was dumb of me. And I was fighting it for three months, and I thought, man, and I realized if I don't stop this, my future as a developer is gone. My YouTube channel, all the effort I put in will be gone. My life, gone, because I know what gaming could do to me. And so when I realized, and I put it together, what do I want? Games, which does absolutely nothing for me, other than waste my time, or throw it out of the way and fight it, 
do something about it. And it took me three months to do it, and I'm glad I was able to do it, man. It took me three months to stop gaming, right? And I'm glad I did it. It was a waste of time. I got really good at my games, but I'm glad that I did it. OD14 says, you're the man. Thank you. You're the man. Ra Roddy Moon knows, and he's asking, what is honestly most needed, React or Angular? As of right now, React is killing it, for sure. Although Angular is very much in demand too, I, React is in demand. I was talking to a recruiting agency, they tried to recruit me to this company, um, Panasonic actually, and but they were telling me, I was, I was asking, I was trying to find out information for you guys, and they said React is actually number one right now in regards to getting a job on today, so. Last but not least, Last question that we have um, from Legend01292, he's asking this. Would you say it's better to start off with a full-time job before freelancing or, um, or before you start your own web design business? I think as a developer, if you wanted to straight up do freelance, you have the ability to do that for sure. But honestly, I think your goal should be to get professional experience at a job and learn that way. Because just trying to get your own clients are, is very difficult. Although it's very possible, I think it has to depend on what kind of person you are. Are you the kind of person that could do sales, that doesn't mind doing the customer service on the side? Or would you prefer to work for a company and have them take care of it, learn skills there, and while you're working for that full company, get freelance clients, and that's what I'm doing now. I'm working full time, I'm doing YouTube full time, right? But I'm still working with freelance clients on the side as well, which I think is best for me. But anyway, man, made this video 15 minutes long. I did it, yes. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna ask any more questions, hit me up on Discord and Instagram, and I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll upload this tomorrow, Sunday morning. Well, thank you guys for watching, man. Love you all, but what better way to end this video with drone footage? Enjoy this drone footage. I'll see you guys next video on Monday. This is Krishan, Life Web Developer, and I'm out. Peace out. I was worried you blow my reputation But if you get it's not on me Yeah, yeah, yeah The way you're making me shiver Your hands on my silver I keep pulling the trigger, alright This very thing for people like them Oh, no, no